How to remove suggested on messenger app on iPhone. Hi everyone, welcome back to our channel. In today's video, I'll guide you through the steps on how you can remove suggested on messenger app on iPhone. So make sure to watch the video till the end. If you have the messenger application installed over here as you would be able to find it. And let's say that whenever you just basically tap the search option from the top of the screen, you're being able to see all of the suggested contacts from the bottom, right? So how do you remove all the suggested contacts? Well, to remove your suggested contact is very simple. All you have to do is just make sure to actually come to this home page here. Once you come to the home page, tap the three lines option here and just tap the gear icon over here, which is a settings cog icon. Once you tap the gear icon that you can find here, you're gonna come to this page where you wanna scroll and then go to privacy and and safety when you go to privacy and safety over here you'll be able to see all this at the very top you can see the option known as hidden contacts I want you to make sure you just tap the hidden contacts option now over here you can see your hidden this means that you can hide people from your suggested contacts as you can see it also clearly mentions that this basically means that you can choose to hide contacts from your suggested tab as you would be able to find it so all you have to do is just basically tap the add button from the top right of the screen and now you can simply go ahead and then select the people that you want to hide from your suggested contacts list so basically let's say i want this person to not appear on my suggested tab i can just select it i can tap the hide contact option that you would be able to find it here once you tap on hide contact this specific person is actually going to get hidden from my suggested list on messenger and this way you'll be able to actually remove suggested on messenger on iphone hope this video was very helpful if you have got any more questions then feel free to leave them down thank you for watching till the end of this tutorial and see you soon in the next video